Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very exciting day. We're at the greenhouse. We're gonna get some plants for for the summer. We're gonna grow our own stuff. Are you ready, Roan? All right, so we're here at our local greenhouse and nursery. It's actually ran by the Amish and it is top notch. Like these are just the fruit tree section. There's There's so much. Today we are getting um, vegetables for the garden. Last year I tried seeds and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and buy the starters this time. <laughs> See how that goes. We're gonna do raised garden beds and we are so excited. All right, so I'm only gonna get stuff that we eat normally. So I'm gonna get like peppers, poblanos, jalapenos, all the herbs, we've got those. Tomate, a couple tomatoes. Dylan doesn't really like tomatoes, but I do. But I can make like salsas and tomato soup and stuff like that. And then what else? Onions. We've got a bag of potatoes we're already gonna plant. So we're gonna get some geraniums to hang on either side of the house because they help repel mosquitoes and bugs and things because they smell like lemon. So hopefully that will help with our wasp mosquito situation. So me and my mom are doing a little um, wicking garden bed. So I came to get plastic and jugs, hit the jackpot, someone who rinses out all their milk cartons. So we're stealing all these milk cartons from the recycle center. So we're gonna try this um, raised bed wicking garden system where like you store water in the bottom so that the soil only soak up, soaks up what it needs it's supposed to save on water because the biggest thing with us having a garden is it's hard to water the garden because we run off of rainwater and so can't just whip the hose out whenever we want. So hopefully this works out. We'll show you guys what we're doing. Today we are putting some things together. We still are waiting on some raised garden beds, so we aren't doing the full garden yet, but we're gonna do the porch and some herbs and some container gardening, so I can't wait to share it all with you. All right, so I have this big pot over here that is so cute, but it has holes in the bottom and it's really large. Um, and we're gonna fill it up with dead material so that it doesn't, we don't have to fill the whole thing with dirt. Here's our big tin thing I got at a flea market, but it's rusted out in the bottom. So we're gonna put a trash bag to line it so that the water doesn't all seep out. And then we're gonna put a uh, dead material at the bottom that's rotting and decaying to fill it up a little bit and that'll help retain water. And also so that it doesn't have to be all filled with dirt. Over here, we got all of our plants. Now we're gonna put in um, some soil. So now I'm gonna move this geranium into a new pot here. A new hanging basket. We're gonna put it on the sides. We got geranium because they're supposed to deter mosquitoes and wasps because they have a lemon scent. So hopefully that is the case. I'm going to rip out the bag here. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the side of this planter because we're gonna create a little water reservoir so it doesn't have holes in the bottom or anything. We're gonna drill a hole a little bit up the side. I'm gonna cut down this planter so that it's a little bit shorter and I'm gonna put it in the bottom of this to take up more space so that we don't use so much dirt. And I'm gonna put little rocks and pebbles around the outside to hold the water. And then we're gonna put the plant in and the dirt around it and it's gonna be spectacular. All right, so we have that in there like this and then I'm gonna go get some pebbles and put that around the outside. A little sneak peek, we may be building a deck, so that's exciting. So I'm just gonna take this rock. <laughs> Okay, so I've got that in there. I've got my gravel and I'm just going to drill a hole right at the gravel line so that the water can only fill up 
in the bottom and then any excess water would go out the side so that don't get any root rot. You think this will just drill through easily? Yep. And that is one done. We got our drainage hole on the side. Beautiful. So we've got both of our pots here. And we have our geranium. And so I took off the one of the sides so that it's easier to get the plant out. And now we will move it over. Alright, so now we are going to do the herb garden. I have like a long skinny planter. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put rocks in the bottom and then dirt on top with the plants to have a little water reservoir. I'm gonna drill a hole where the uh, rocks end on top. So like a couple inches up. up a storm mom all the better we out in her garden today i have little pots I'm gonna your pot you what about in. my chives my buck oh cilantro i mean it's good oh i love it cute buddy what if you just like slept oh yeah Okay guys, up next we are creating some container garden beds. We're going to do like a little salsa garden. So we're going to have like jalapenos, tomatoes, cilantro, onions. So like everything to make salsa. Cute. Alright, so here's our half of a barrel here. And we have filled it with plastic milk jugs. There's six milk jugs in here to take up the space. Find these, found these at the <laughs> recycling center. But we're going to, in each jug, we're going to drill a hole near the bottom here and a hole near the top. And um, that way, when this fills up with water, the water will be stored in the jugs. And the air will be able to escape through the top hole. The water will leak out of the bottom hole. That way, this whole thing doesn't have to be filled with dirt and it'll help store water. And then in the jug, in the container here, we're going to drill a hole about five inches up so that if there's extra water, it will leak out and um, not be stuck in here. So we'll see how this goes. We're also working on saving my dying house plants. My mom is not impressed with my house plants. We've got a lot of planting going on here. And then before we're adding dirt in this one, like store-bought fertilizer dirt, we are filling it with decaying material once again, just to save money on dirt. This bag is how many cubic feet, so you can tell it's half a bag. I'm gonna put uh, two tomatoes in each in the middle, and then we're gonna put a tomato cage around it, and then we're gonna pet Put the peppers around the outside and um, also cilantro. Might throw some onions in there. We'll see if we have room. 